Welcome to the Design and Technology Department at Jamira College. In this video, I'm going to talk about A-level product design. But first, why design and technology? One of the things that was really honed in design technology is this idea of not going with your first solution. There is a real encouragement to follow all the ideas through and take them further than you would expect to go initially. I'm a design engineer in the accessories department here at Triumph. So I did design technology at both A-level and GCSE, which I really feel helps develop my creativity, which is not something that I would say comes naturally to me. The project we're doing in textiles right now is natural forms and how it's incorporated in fashion. Working out not only what works on paper but what's going to be a good product is something that DT really emphasises well and teaches from a really early age. Actually designing from scratch and working out what is going to work for the customer. Hopefully when I'm older I'd like to go into medicine, maybe in the Navy. And I think the techniques in textiles will be helpful, especially with creativity and working with machines and also stitching up people. I loved studying design and technology at school because it allowed me to explore my crazy ideas and turn them into reality, which is something that we do every day on projects at work. I love seeing people using our products out on the road and it's really exciting seeing them enjoying things that I've personally designed. Well, the most valuable thing is bouncing off each other's creativity and letting myself and my creativity flourish. So what actually is product design? Well, it's the design and engineering of new products for a client situation or real world. the development of design, creativity, problem solving and project management skills, all highly sought after within the world of work. It's a study of design, materials, manufacturing methods both in the workshop and in industry and how marketing relates to products. It's the development and appreciation of form, which is the shape, function and development of products. It's also how we use computer aided design to help engineer design ideas and solutions. But finally, it's creative, innovative, and highly entrepreneurial. Students will be expected to have studied design and technology at GCSE and achieved at least a grade six. The A-level product design course itself is split into two halves. The first half, 50%, is an NEA project. This is the old course. This is a substantial design and make portfolio for evidence which investigates design and makes developments. 30% will be an exam paper at the end of the exam. The first one is technical principles, looking at materials and processes, for example. And paper two will be worth 20%. And this looks at things like design theory, design processes, responsibility, etc. In year 12, students will undertake a series of small design and make projects and in two of their lessons per week they will look at exam content. In year 13, four lessons will be plagiarised for the year and two lessons again for the exam content. So what kind of work will a student produce? Well, for their NEA they will produce a design portfolio that is very similar to the GCSE instruction except it will be in greater detail. They investigate, design, make, and evaluate, looking at areas such as research and specifications. What we also do is get students to work in a sketchbook environment. This allows students to have the freedom to be able to sketch ideas, develop them, and to present them in a way, looking at blended model making, CAD, photographs, sketches, and annotations to explore. These will all be produced and submitted as a final report. Students will produce lots of CAD whilst they are generating the design ideas. It's okay if they don't feel fully comfortable using this topic, as it's something that will develop over the course of two years. The end result should be that we have students who can create high quality CAD models that look really professional. 
also choose some of the reading content. Students will finally choose prototypes of their design. They will use a variety of different materials that we have in the workshop, the laser cutters, drills, bandsaws, 3D printers and all other workshop equipment to help produce a final model. So where can product design take students? A lot of students work with design, creative and engineering teams after university. Over the last few years, approximately 40% of our students have gone into engineering of some sort. Approximately 25% have gone to study product design further at the university. Around 15% into architecture and the remaining 20% art, design, project management fields. Our students move on to top universities around the world in the USA, Canada and the United Kingdom, including some of the Russell Group universities such as York, Nottingham or Imperial College London. And when we've spoken to students, they said to us that studying product design at JSC has helped them stand out from the crowd. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please email me at g.parking.jcp at gemzedgmail.com.